Hey, what's up everyone? It's Michael with Color Cubic, and I'm back again with a really quick tutorial. So in this video, what I'm going to show you how to achieve is the perfect circle out of the surface of any editable object. For example here, uh, this is a model I'm working on and it's part of a much larger project. But if you just bring your attention here to this lens, you can see this is employing that technique. So instead of uh, intersecting a cylinder into the surface of this object. I'm actually protruding, I'm actually creating a circle and then extruding that, which looks like it's protruding from the surface of this. So this technique is really helpful and, uh, you know, you can create all sorts of shapes using this technique. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into Cinema 4D because this is a really quick tutorial and uh, I don't want to take up too much of your time just talking. So I'm in Cinema 4D R16, and like most of my tutorials, what's nice about this process is that regardless of which version of Cinema 4D you're in, you should be able to follow along verbatim without any issues. So let's kick this off by coming up here to our Primitive tab. Now if we just click and hold this, let's come over here to our Plane and select Plane. Now before we do anything else, let's come over here to Display, and let's select Garage Shading Lines. And with your Alt Option key held down on your keyboard, click and drag down with your mouse and then just over to the left or right, just to gain a little perspective with our plane. So right away, we can see that all of our segments here, we've got about 20 by 20 segments. So if we come over here to our Objects Manager and we select our plane, and then we come down here to our Object tab, let's reduce the width and height segments of our plane. Let's just reduce this by 10. So 10 for the height and width. Now let's come back up here to our Objects Manager, and with our plane selected, let's press the C key on our keyboard. So what this did was it converted our primitive plane to an editable plane. So now it's an editable object. Now let's come over here to our Live Selection tool. And from here, let's come down here to our Point Selection tab. And now let's go ahead and zoom in, which you can achieve by either scrolling or you can use this object here, or this, uh, this tool. And now let's just select one point on the surface of this plane. And with this one point selected, let's right click and come down to bevel. Now right away in our attributes window for our bevel, let's come to offset. And let's just up this to say 30 centimeters. And now for our subdivision, let's up this to 10. So right away we're getting an interesting shape, but this isn't really what we want. So for here, what we want to do is we want to come to depth, and let's bring this from 100% down to negative 100%. And look at what happened. It converted that shape into a perfect circle. And we can make this even better depending on how many subdivisions we want in the surface. For right now, 10 is fine. This is just to give you an idea of how this is working. But what we want to do next is let's come over here to our live selection tool. And now let's come down here to our uh, Surface Polygons tab. And right away, what we want to do is we just want to select all of these subdivisions because, you know, when we create this perfect circle, this is ideal, but we don't want all of these subdivisions there. So all we need to do is just with our Live Selection tool, let's just go ahead and click and run our mouse over all of these uh, subdivisions. There you go. Now, uh, in doing this, I inadvertently selected these other polygons, which I don't want. So if you're on a Mac, hold down the Command key. If you're on a PC, the Control key. And then just click these other polygons, just so they deselect. There we go. So now we just have the uh, subdivisions for our circle. And with all of this selected, let's right-click and then come down to Melt. So what this did was, this melted all of the subdivisions into one solid polygon. But if we come over here to our Point Selection tab, we can see that all of these other points that are around the uh, circumference of the circle, they, uh, they've, re they've retained. And so that retains the perfect circle shape. So let's come back to our, uh, our, our Surface Polygons tab. And now, with the surface selected, let's right-click again. And now let's come to extrude. And now we can just click and drag to the right to extrude this. So this is like a really powerful method to achieve. So you can use this method on any uh, surface, on any editable surface, as long as there are enough polygons. 
and there are enough points to select. Um, you know, I've never actually tried this though with uh, like an edge, one of the points on the edge. So let's go ahead and try this again. I'm just curious. I've, I've, for whatever reason, I've never actually tried this. So with this edge selected, I'm just going to right click, bevel, and my presets of all, uh, or all of the parameters have saved. So I can just adjust one of these. Oh, nice. Okay. So what this does is it just creates a half circle, which is, you know, that's pretty convenient as well. And now if I come back to my uh, live selection tool and then come down to my surface polygons tab, I can just select all of these, deselect all of the other polygons I don't want, and then right click, come down to melt, and then, whoops, did that keep one? It did. There we go. Let's do that again. Now we have all of it. Now I can right click, come to extrude, and extrude that out. Huh, interesting. I, For whatever reason, I've never tried to select one of the edges, so that's actually pretty helpful as well. Anyway, hopefully you found this useful. I just wanted to throw a quick tutorial video uh, together for this, because this is something that, this technique I use a lot when it comes to, uh, you know, surface polygon modeling. And, uh, you know, one of the problems that I used to run into is, man, how do I create circles out of the surface of primitive shapes or primitive objects and uh, like a plane or a cube and you can even try this on a sphere too it's a little wonky but you still get that perfect circle and um, you know there's a lot of different tips and tricks that you can you can employ to really up the workflow of your um, of your uh, your your process so yeah, hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll be back again with a, uh, a more in-depth tutorial. So thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.